cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with our students making their way daily commute. By the way, lay. By the lay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true! Bitch! You told me you will join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of her many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Zoya likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Would you stop burping? <laughs> uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Thank you. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I will die at the thought of you becoming a need in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few claps if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you will try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I let myself get locked up by such a carefree girl? Rather than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent on relent to her. Can't talk, Jesus Christ. I guess seeing <laughs> What? <laughs> so drunk and you but that <laughs> None of us can talk. I guess Death. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Ah! The school day. Yeah. <laughs> the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an, an ounce of motivation. <coughs> clubs. <laughs> so Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori? So <laughs> Take Zoya. a shot. Take Zoya. <laughs> Take a shot every time we can't speak. Sayori so must have come into the class while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I would catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? <clears throat> there is no way I'm going to your club. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm not 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the, the club... <laughs> Stop distracting me! <laughs> Dude! What the fuck she inherited to the title vice president? Inhale. And she inhaled to the title, Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so. Oh, look at Kanao! What the fuck? <laughs> or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Planned. I don't know the wrong side. Fine, stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Gotta go feast.
<laughs> and that's today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I dejected. <laughs> <laughs> I did gently follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. I saw a soul look. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I, I did just like uh when did Five Nights of Phrase release. I just I just realized that it was written there. I saw a soul for a cupcake. Yeah. I was laughing so hard. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to the third year classes and activities. So Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Why can I imagine her just... Everyone, the new member is here! Oh god. <laughs> Who's gonna voice everyone else? I told you, don't call me new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Oh god, who's gonna do emo girl? <laughs> Welcome to the Lecture Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. So Yori always says nasty things about you. Of course she does. Seriously, you brat boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Should I do this bitch too? I can do her too. Feel free. Ah, Lei. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. <laughs> This club is full of incredibly cute girls! Why are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Hm. The girl with the sour attitude, his name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear. That that was not quietly into my ear. <laughs> that I, turned to I my don't care. That is yelling into my ear. That's not quietly either. That turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. <clears throat> and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. She looks like she's asleep. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna remember the voice I did for, uh, I've already forgot her name. <laughs> Don't say things like that. Yuri, you appear completely more mature and timid and. and I timid. Oops. <laughs> this edgy bitch seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Atsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? I mean, uh, what? That's right! It's great to see you again, Lei! Yeah, nice to meet you. Monica smart, sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica! Come sit down, Lei! We made a room! For you at the table, so you can sit next to me, or oh, Monica. I prefer sitting next to you. Thank you. <laughs> I will get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Sure. The girl. <laughs> <laughs> the girl's <laughs> you just <desk> arranged. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. We got have a few desks arranged to me from a table. As Sayori mentioned, uh, it's been- Oh jeez! <laughs> Fuck! Oh wait, what about the game files? No, there's nothing in there. Uh, Don't uh, forget to save at random times! Oh! Yeah, I should probably do this and save. <laughs> save? Yes, I want to save. Uh, return history! Oh yeah, we can read through whatever has been said before. If you want to. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. As Sayori mentioned, it's been wide so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs the wraps tray and Yuri opens the closet. Is there Foxy inside? Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. There we go. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the file off 